Hello everybody, welcome back to ECU Team channel and in this video I'd like to show you another service that we also do. It's related to Mercedes. The problem is with the steering block uh, that is located right here and this is our customer's vehicle and uh, it's got problem as many other people's experience if you drive Mercedes and uh, the problem is that this mechanism is getting bad and what it does it's locking or unlocking the steering column and this is the entire steering column take a look at that assembly it's pretty massive and heavy and uh, the funny part is that it's so much easier to take the entire steering column out rather than you trying to remove this little component so we have here a steering lock that is still mounted on the steering column we have ignition switch that came out of the same vehicle and the key so if you are going to uh, send us for repair a steering lock it's not enough you would have to send also this component which is again ignition switch and key the reason why we need all those parts is because this is the entire security system that is divided into three pieces that is key ignition switch and steering lock so the customer sent us the entire column because it was so much easier to remove out of the vehicle and uh, I'll show you the entire process how it works how we tested it and uh, how it's actually getting fixed so here I would like to show you also why this steering lock is going bad and what is making this module to go bad the problem is that when you leave your vehicle uh, on the street and uh, you take the key out this component locks the wheel and then when you put the key back it's trying to unlock and in order for this module to unlock the steering column is that it has to apply a lot of force to the little to the little and tiny component that is located inside I'll show you later when we take it out but the problem is that it has to apply too much force and uh, the motor that is inside is not enough powerful to do this thing properly so eventually within like 30 or 50,000 miles it's going bad and you simply get stuck on the road in order for me to show you how this thing works how we tested and getting it fixed I have to take the steering lock mechanism out and uh, an important thing that I would like to show you in case if you decided to take it out yourself uh, here is a little bolt right here hopefully you can see it. here it is and you have to take it out using this wrench so the process is pretty easy and you just take the wrench and take this bolt off so, so once this bolt is off what you're gonna see here is this and uh, this is something that actually you will be able to press and release the mechanism out of the entire steering column but in our situation uh, it's not as easy because again the steering lock is locked and I cannot spin the wheel at all and even when I'm trying to apply some force to release this mechanism out of the entire assembly it's locked and because it's locked we have to do some tricks to take it out properly a lot of people they simply cut it and take it out that way but if you do so you may damage the entire steering column if you don't know how to do this properly some people do know but uh, the best thing to do is actually to take the entire column out so you're not going to damage anything inside of the vehicle finally we got got this little component uh, carefully removed and uh, this is how it looks if you look a little bit closer inside uh, you'll understand how it actually works and uh, on the steering column oh by the way you can spin it right now because it's not locked anymore so if you look closer right here you're gonna see that it has some sort of a metal uh, 
toppers or some like edges i don't even know how this thing called but the way how it works take a look at this mechanism you see this little latch if i press it like this it's locking and unlocking so this little thing is located right inside here and when it's locked and this position called locked position so when it's locked um, you won't be able to turn the wheel right now because the steering lock is not there you are able to spin it all over no problem it works so another easier explanation is that this latch is located right here so when it's locked it looks like this and you cannot spin it. it's getting stuck and then when it unlocks it kind of gets right inside of this module and it looks like this and then it releases the steering column now it's now it's time to show you guys how we test those two units and how it works and explain you a little bit more about this system so uh, first of all just so you know this system called fbs3 and uh, this is an older generation of uh, mercedes security systems and uh, in order for us to get this thing tested we need two things number one is this ring i'll show you in a second how it works and second we need wiring and we have this wiring built right here on the bench and it has connectors to get the ignition switch connected and steering lock connected also we have obd port that allows you to connect the mercedes scanner uh, such as uh, star diagnostic which is factory scanner and uh, link to every single module individually to make sure that you do have communication so now let's take a look at this ring it has a little led right here and nothing else no connectors and the reason why is because as soon as you insert the key this module generates uh, an electrical magnetic field around it in order to read the information off of the key uh, yes now you're gonna say that this key operates through the IR and yes you're right this is an IR key but even though it's an IR key it still generates power around this uh, coil that is located inside of the ignition switch in order to communicate with the key so we have to put the ring right on top of it and once you put the key in you're supposed to see the light that turns on right now is off because we didn't connect it so let's get it connected real quick and I'll show you how it works so we need this we need this and this one goes straight into the steering lock only one connector now we have to put the ring on top of it and once you put the key into the ignition switch look what's gonna happen you see this little LED is on now and it's not connected to anything it's because right now this electrical magnetic field is around this ignition switch so that way you know that at least it has power after that as soon as you turn the key this steering lock is supposed to unlock well actually it's supposed to unlock as soon as you put the key in uh, but because it's not doing so this is an indication of a bad module so so the way how it works is as soon as you put the key into the ignition switch uh, ignition switch recognizes the key and sends the signal to the steering lock once the steering lock recognizes the ignition switch it sends first what it does it pulls the trigger and uh, uh, it opens up by uh, getting this latch uh, inside of the module and uh, that means that it's it recognizes the signal from ignition switch and then when it sends the signal back to the ignition switch saying that hey um, I recognize you so then ignition switch is sending a signal to the engine computer so the vehicle can turn the starter over and start the engine so uh, this is a basic understanding of how the security system works and next thing what we do is we'll show you how the um, 
emulator is programmed to that ignition switch and how everything operates on the bench. So, the, so this emulator, I'll leave the link down below the video so you can get it from ECU team and uh, we guarantee this module for one year and uh, um, let me show you real quick how it works. Right now at the moment this module is working but it's not programmed and uh, you cannot just buy this module without getting it programmed because it definitely has to be coded to your vehicle. So this is what you do. As soon as you put the key in, you're supposed to hear a sound. Let me show you. Now it beeped four times. Four times means that it's not programmed. As soon as you take the key out, it's supposed to beep once again. This sound is so weird, but what it does, it imitates the real sound of locking and unlocking mechanism that you normally hear when you have an OEM unit installed. But just because you don't have this unit and you have an emulator, it imitates the sound. Because again, it's not locking or unlocking uh, the wheel. Uh, again. Right, so this is an indication that this module is not programmed. And next thing we have to do, we have to synchronize this emulator to the ignition switch so once you put the key in you're supposed to hear only one bit. Let's dive into that and I'll show you how it works. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you put this little nut back and make sure it stays tight so it won't move. Uh, and now once everything is installed let's take the ignition switch and get everything connected. So here is our ignition switch, just in case I'll put this little PCB with an LED back and I plug the connector back, now I plug it back to the emulator and uh, take a look that the connector on the emulator is absolutely identical to what the original one has. That means that you don't need another wiring, you don't have to use any uh, converters or things like this and you don't have to play with the, with the wiring which is the most important thing as well so you won't mess it up and now here is our key let's take a look first of all if you noticed it's only one bit instead of four when it was not programmed again One beep indicates that this module is programmed to that ignition switch. They both are synchronized and they recognize each other. And what it also means is that your vehicle is going to start. And now to make sure that this ignition switch 100% operates, we also do the diagnostic with the Mercedes factory scan tool and make sure that we have communication between the OBD2 connector where you connect your scanner and the actual security system. So that way we are 100% sure that whatever we did is totally fine and has no any problems. So now, so now our setup is getting a little bit bigger. We have a laptop right here and uh, remember I told you that this little wiring has OBD connector to get this equipment uh, scanned and this is what it is. So this laptop right now has installed Zentry Star Diagnostic which is a Mercedes factory scan tool and uh, here we have our multiplexer which is um, a C3 Mercedes Zentry Star. It's an OEM unit and uh, this scanner is built by Mercedes for Mercedes exclusively and uh, Let's dive into that real quick and I'll show you how it works. So first thing we do is uh, we have to connect this OBD connector with the actual harness from the scanner and this is what I'm doing right now. Once it's plugged in we have to turn the ignition on and for that we have to use a key. Let me put the ring back just so you make sure it has power around it. 
you hear the sound which is one beep means that it's programmed I turn the ignition on and right here we already have information that belongs to this vehicle and what we have to do right now is that we have to click continue and get the actual communication with that equipment so we can get the information off of every single module and as you can see it's loading that information and it recognizes two module right is going to tell us about the fault since not everything is connected and it recognizes two modules which is uh, ignition switch one of them um, let's get into the ignition switch and see if we are able to pull any data off of this module it's loading thank God it's pretty quick and yes as you can see it says electronic ignition lock in other words it's called EZS and it shows all the information that belongs to this module and if you don't believe me here is the part number that you can also read on the scanner and they are the same that means that we do have communication with that ignition switch and ignition switch operates just fine now if we go back and choose central gateway then simply nothing is going to happen then simply nothing is going to happen because this module not supposed this module I'm talking about the steering lock not supposed to communicate because it's just an emulator what it does it imitates the signal it's not supposed to communicate with the scanner and once you make sure that all those modules communicate fine with the start diagnostic which is again factory scanner then you're good to go and that means that everything that we did is working just fine as it's supposed to be so today i showed you guys uh, another service that we also do and uh, i really hope that now you have better understanding on how mercedes uh, security system works and uh, you're not going to be lied by incompetent people in the future uh, one thing i forgot to mention is that after steering lock is installed the wheel is spinning back and forth no problem and there is no way that emulator can lock the wheel back but again you don't really need this feature because it's absolutely useless as long as the vehicle starts i think you should be fine and uh, i'll leave all the links to the actual service to the key to the uh, steering lock down below the video and thanks so much for watching and hit subscribe button and like the video and uh, don't forget to click that bell right down below the video thank you so much and see you in the next one bye bye